Now that we've discussed what contribution margin is, we're going to talk about a very important ratio. So let's say that our bicycle manufacturing firm uh, has an, a contribution income statement that looks something like this. Right? So we've got our sales here, our variable costs, and then we subtotal out our contribution margin. Then we deduct the fixed cost and, and it arrives at our bottom line net income. So our contribution margin being $120,000, uh, we can actually convert that to a ratio, right? So we can say this, this contribution margin ratio, right? Take the contribution margin and scale it by sales. What I mean is take this 120,000 and divide it by the amount of sales, divide it by 200,000, and that's going to give us 60%. And actually, let, let me just scroll so you can see that the calculation's a little bit better. So here. So we take that 120,000 contribution margin, divide it by the 200,000 in sales. That's going to give us 0.6, or we can also think of that in terms of percentage, 60%. And what that means is that this 0.6, or we'll just, we'll, I'll, I'll just add a zero to it, it's the same number either way. 0.60, this is saying that 60 cents of every dollar in sales, so every time we have if one dollar in sales, we have sixty cents in contribution margin. So this is a useful number uh, for a variety of reasons. One is that we can use this contribution margin ratio similar to a contribution margin. We can actually use it uh, to compute useful things, uh, like for example the break-even point, and then we can also think of like a, a target profit some benchmark that we want to reach a certain profit level uh, but also the contribution margin ratio has value in in an in and of itself beyond just thinking about these these other computations which we discuss in other videos so if we just think about this ratio here here it's in this case it's 60 percent but what if what if it was really low let's say that it was just 10 percent let me just you know what let me get a little more space. So let's say that the contribution margin ratio for a firm is 10 percent. Well what does that mean? Well how is that different from another firm that's 90 percent? Why does this even matter? Well if it's 10 percent then that means if the firm has a hundred dollars in sales a hundred dollars in sales ultimately it's only going to have ten dollars in contribution margin off those sales, right? So $90 of this 100, so 90 of that, is just going to go to cover the variable cost. So if we're making bicycles, right, if we're making bicycles and we sell a bicycle for $100 and we've got this contribution margin ratio here, that means that $90 of, of that is going to go right off the top. It's going to go to the parts and everything, the variable cost associated with making the bicycle. And only $10 for every hundred is going to be left over to cover our fixed costs, right? Like the rent on our building, our warehouse, whatever. And then also leave over, hopefully, some profit, right? So so what what this means is the lower this number is, this contribution margin ratio, if that's, that's really low, if it's only 10%, that means that if we want to cover our fixed costs and if we want to have some, some profit left over, Right? then we need to have a lot of sales volume. We really need to have high volume because for each sale we make, for each dollar, only 10 cents of it is going to contribution margin. Right. So if that's the case, then we say, okay, well, we really, really need to drive sales. More important, sales, are, sales volume is more important for us than a, another firm that maybe has 90% contribution margin ratio than, okay, every, every time... They make a sale of, of $100 and 90 bucks is going toward their fixed costs and then their profit. So they don't have, to, it's not as important for them. It's not as crucial to, to drive volume really high. But when we're only getting uh, a, just, just a few cents, if we're just getting 10 cents on the dollar uh, toward our fixed costs and then, and then after that's covered actually toward our profit, then it's really important that we have high sales volume.